Yeah, Jessie's situation is unique because her entire family was affected by this accident. Her brother, um, her sister, her brother-in-law, and her parents were all in the uh, in the car, and uh, her parents unfortunately passed away uh, during the accident. We were very active. It took a lot when we found out that he got injured. I mean, he did a lot. When he went outside, he was gone for quite a while and something just didn't feel right. So I went outside and I found him laying face down in the flower bed. And he was bleeding from his head and he just knew something, something was wrong. Rudy's a very vibrant person. We uh, were on a vacation down at our coastal place. I was on the platform. She brushed me on the way by, and I could feel her going by me, just like the wind. She was laying a pile of rubbish, you know. And so we gently pulled part of that out and held her up because she had a collapsed lung. And she told me that. Had no feeling in her legs. Hang in there, babes. Hang in there. When she left Harborview, she was in a um, motorized wheelchair. And at that point was using um, a joystick on her chin uh, to control the, the wheelchair. I was here the first day that she that she came in to Pushing Boundaries. Remember she left here that day going, wow, I really thought I was just coming here to to take a look around and they put me through a two hour workout. <laughs> she said, all right, they're gonna push me. They're not gonna let me sit around. Um, this is where I need to be. She is a fighter and if she wasn't coming here, we'd never have the equipment, the expertise, the space and the community. And those are all things that you can't recreate by going home and you know, doing exercises on your own. We heard about Pushing Boundaries from a hospital patient that was at Harborview. One of our nurses said we should meet him. If he could use a power wheelchair, he could barely get his hand up onto the armrest to move his chair. He could move his neck just fine, shrug his shoulders, but that is about it. In the beginning, he had no clue he could get up and you know, take a step. And we weren't willing to try, you know, or I, I couldn't catch him. So I believe that he felt that he was going to be in a wheelchair for the rest of his life. You know, after that first visit, it was a done deal. I mean, it was like, okay, that's, that's where I'm going tomorrow. <laughs> the first day she got on the uh, local van. You want to see that smile I saw 20 years ago. It's, it's in that picture. She's a being dear to hear. I mean, it was, it was just incredible. She was very determined. And uh, her exercise at Pushing Boundaries progressed from day one on. The first time I saw Jesse get on that treadmill, I, it's remarkable. I just, you just get tears in your eyes. She kept asking myself and my other friend that was there, do you guys see me? Do you guys see me? I'm like, we see you. She's like, take video, take video, take video. As she's been coming to Pushing Boundaries, we've seen these small steps of her really engaging back in life. And that's one of the things I really wanted her to have is you gotta keep living, you gotta keep pushing forward. The goals that she set for herself could not be attained without Pushing Boundaries. That's pretty much that simple. There's one ultimate goal. Since the very beginning, all she has said is, I cannot wait to walk back into my classroom. Anyone who's been through what Jessie's been through and what her family's been through understands that it's, it's life-altering, but there is hope, and there is a place where you can find hope. So when we started here, very first day, they had him standing. They got him up, and he took that first step, and he had the confidence of the team behind him. I mean, every single day, something new turned on. I would have never guessed he would have been this far, I mean, I knew he was gonna 
be great, but I never would have guessed he'd been this far in just six months of coming here. He doesn't know 100% if he'll get back to his 100% of being able to build houses again and all that stuff, but his goals are just to be able to be independent and walk around the house without anybody needing to be there, you know, being able to do what he did normally and be confident about it. If we don't have pushing boundaries, life would be a lot different for sure and not meaning in a good way, you know, you have made his everyday life so much better. If pushing boundaries wasn't here, Rudy would never be as independent as she is. There's just no replacement for that kind of exercise. I, I think that support system is part of the system we get at pushing boundaries. They've been very helpful with other information we just couldn't find. Because she's gotten a lot of good stuff from the interaction here, you know, that's helped her along and done a lot of great things for her. Any other path you can take? There is no other path. So just do it. And do it damn good. I am pushing boundaries. 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 We are pushing boundaries. I am pushing boundaries.